battle start. Right. Uh, let's do this. Hey there guys, it's Kevsky here and I'm back today with another post commentary video in my VK301P. I was platooned up with Fox, my, Ryan, one of my housemates. Uh, he is in the KV85 at the top of the scoreboard as you can see. And I just wanted to show you this quick video because it shows how having a large alpha damage gun, albeit the lack of penetration, can get you out of a very sticky situation. Especially when you've put yourself in that sticky situation. Right. I noticed that ELC there. I don't, don't decide to engage because there's something I really want to do. And that is, I want to get to grid point E4. That is where the T25 is currently heading towards. I clock him about now. And I noticed that he's going to be in the same position. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll ambush him. I'll sit behind this rock. I peek out, try to see if anything's out there, see where the tog is. I stay here for a couple seconds thinking, oh, okay, that most of their stuff must have gone the other way. As I move out, I notice the T-34 behind me. It doesn't have shots, so I don't care. I then put a shot into the side of this 25, ram him for 205, 202, and 45. He bounces with his shot. I go for his weak spot. And he is done. Again, large alpha damage helping me great there. I see this Wolverine. I put another big hit into him. He's now probably got damaged components. I then put the second shot in to kill him. KV-1 rears his ugly head, get another bounce, put a shot into his drive wheel, he then has to repair. I then think, right, these guys are coming up on my flank, I'm going to get into a more defendable position. Ryan notices this, puts a heavy shot into the T-34. I then think, oh, okay, I'll go and finish him off. T-34 gets done in by the artillery. Gotta say, with this game, artillery were really on point major major advantage to our team was having that artillery I then think to myself the KV is being uh, looked after by the T-150 so I'm gonna come up and have a look for this M4 Sherman that's gone missing there he is notice he's got the uh, HE cannon on his tank so I think right I'll just put a quick shot into him move forward so that I can take a more defendable position I notice these two on the side, I have no shots, well no silhouettes at least. Then I see this SU-100 sitting here sniping from cover. I don't believe he sees me, so I look at the rear of his tank, which I have a great shot on. 209, another high alpha damage shot. My mistake here was in fact moving forward, giving him line of sight and possibly this Dicamax getting a shot on me. Luckily for me though, again, artillery is fantastic and right on point and takes him out. Their artillery is now trying to have a go at me. I move back, think I've lost the spot, so I try and sit here and wait. Then notice that he still has shots on me, so of course I'm still spotted, try to move around. Birch Gun puts a hit into me for 8 because he's using HG instead of AP. If you'd have used an AP round then, it would have gone right in the top of my tank and caused a fair chunk of damage. Anyway, now finally lost my spot, I move forward a bit more. These artillery are gunning for me, so I'm going to be cautious. I see the TOG, try to go for the shot, he's dead. Then this SU spots me for our arty. I put another big shot into him, and again, our AMX-13 F3 artillery is bang on point taking him out after I put a large hit into him. The Hummel did get a hit on me for 35 I believe. It takes out my track but he's got a heavy reload. Shot comes into the building there. It's all exciting and everything's going on. I see the Birch gun. He's done for now. Big alpha damage shot. Boom. 190. Now thinking that the Hummel's gonna have shots on me, I hide behind this building as I should rightly move, he fires, and it does in fact hit the building I'm hiding behind, so it's a great shot. Don't know what happened to that shot, I believe it went low, but again, it's just, it's untold, like what happens. 
I was really perplexed by that shot as well because the whole reticule was on his tank. Maybe it hit the rock in front. Here is a fantastic uh, bang. Artie takes me and I am done for. And that is the end of that little clip of footage there. I made it nice and short. I didn't show Ryan's perspective because I didn't want it to be a long video. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I am going to be doing this sort of replay post commentary thing on my videos, especially for World of Tanks. Um, I'm going to bring out some Titanfall footage soon and hopefully uh, you guys will appreciate that. And um, yeah, thank you for watching guys. See you next time.